when he says life has absolutely no meaning, it's like a twig, uh, you know, flowing on the sea of nothingness or something, you ask him if that definition is meaningful, if the statement is meaningful. You see, it is not possible to debunk meaning while making a meaningful statement about life itself. Well said, yeah. uh, I said to a student at the University of the Philippines in Manila, who stood up at the end of one of my talk and shouted out and said, ah, everything in life is meaningless. I said, you don't believe that. He said, I do. I said, no, you don't. He said, yes, I do. I said, you don't. He said, who are you to tell me I don't? I said, stand up and say it again. He said, everything in life is meaningless. I said, I assume that you assume that what you just said was meaningful. And if what you've just said was meaningful, then everything is not meaningless. On the other hand, if everything is meaningless, then what you've just said is meaningless too. You've basically said nothing. You can sit down. <laughs> you know, you, you, hate, you, hate, you, hate to do, you hate to do that, Jim. You hate to do that because you're not trying to put somebody down. But imagine a man of Gould's intellectual capacity spending all of his life at one of the most prestigious universities in the world while life is meaningless. Uh, it just tells you, uh, what is this all about then? Why do, I have, why do I have to make sense then? If he, why does he ask me to defend Christianity? If life is meaningless, why should my philosophy be meaningful? Again, it becomes plainly...